Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Filament Health's channel, forefronting the psychedelic industry for the treatment of mental health. And coming from the lab himself uh, is CEO Ben Lightburn. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. A pleasure to have you, man. So we got lots of news we're going to be diving down into. I want to reiterate some of this really important news because you guys have special access uh, program with Health Canada for emergency use cases using psil uh, psilocybin and some of these psychedelic treatments. Do you want to kind of offer some insights there? I noticed a recent news filing on in some relation, but uh, any insights would be great. Yeah, people may have heard of something called the Special Access Program. Um, this is a Health Canada specific program, which allows Canadians through their practitioners to access unapproved medical therapies um, um, on an emergency um, as needed basis. Um, uh, these could be therapies that are still undergoing clinical trials in Canada, or perhaps maybe they're approved in other jurisdictions. Um, but Canadians, again, through their practitioners can make the case that they need access to them to them here. Uh, up until January 5th, um, access to restricted drugs like psilocybin uh, was not available through the special access program. But Health Canada, luckily, they actually amended the program to allow access to psilocybin through this program. And so while this isn't intended to create a market uh, to, to start distributing psilocybin on a wide basis, um, what I think it does signal is Health Canada's recognition to looking at the science um, and looking at the safety of substances like psilocybin and recognizing that maybe the door is opening a, a teeny tiny little bit. Um, as it pertains to filament, um, you know, we're, we're obviously very enthusiastic about, about this development. Uh, there's only a very limited number of companies that can manufacture psilocybin legally uh, and do so under GMP conditions. Our subsidiary, uh, Silo Scientific, which is where I am right now, is one of those, those companies. And in fact, what sets us apart is that um, our products have actually received Health Canada approval to go into clinical trials. Um, in, in addition, um, uh, we are one of the few uh, companies that are GMP, uh, as well as have the dealer's license, which is required for making um, uh, psilocybin. And in fact, uh, we were recently notified by Health Canada that we are on a list um, of uh, such suppliers. So all in all, uh, quite, uh, uh, quite good developments, even if they are just very, very small, but very small baby steps in the very much the right direction. Yeah, those are incredible insights. It's kind of neat to see the the different paths that you're taking to not have to sit on your hands going through these trials while also having that part of your uh, pipeline. I mean, it's it's really fascinating. And I've taken a look at some of those companies in Canada that have that short uh, on that list. And again, like you said, very, very short, but it's primarily for late stage cancer patients and a lot of people that are looking for that alternative route, which really does signal uh, this fast evolving sector of psychedelics. And it's really proving out that there is something here uh, that they think has a uh, really tremendous use cases and expanding beyond that. I mean, uh, with Cybin Therapeutics, a partnership you guys recently announced, uh, you have approval now for phase two clinical trials for depression treatment, which I know is one of the forefronted uh, things that people are trying to use psychedelics to treat. Do you have any insights on that as well? Yeah, it's, Cybin Therapeutics is, uh, is, has turned out to be a very good partnership for us. Um, we recently, together with them, um, well, they actually applied to uh, Health Canada for a clinical trial using our um, uh, psilocybin-based botanical drug candidate. Um, as you mentioned, this trial will be addressing depression. Um, but what's really interesting about this trial is that you will actually be administering um, our drug to people who are undergoing SSRI therapy. Uh, SSRIs are one of the sort of leading um, options uh, for anti-depression medication. Um, so what that means is a lot of depressed people are on SSRI therapy. And up till now, that has meant um, that you would be excluded from uh, psychedelics research if you were taking SSRIs. Um, it's thought that maybe that, this, that the interplay between SSRIs and, um, and psychedelic therapy can have some negative effects. Um, that's why um, people on SSRIs were prevented from uh, going into, um, into psychedelics research. Or uh, if you wanted to be part of a trial, you actually have to go off the SSRI therapy, which comes with another host of challenges. How does the fact that you're uh, coming off one therapy um, affect uh, your ability to be treated by the psychedelic therapy in the clinical trial? And so we, it's a potential confounding factor that's existed in all psychedelics research up till now. If we can establish that it's safe and effective to provide psychedelic assisted 
psychotherapy to those on SSRI therapy, we do several things. Um, um, but primarily, we establish that there's a much bigger potential clinical trial population, right? Because people can continue to take their SSRI therapy, and we increase the potential market size for eventual uh, approved uh, psychedelics if it's safe and effective to take while you're still on your pre-existing therapy. Obviously, the end goal is to you know, replace or, 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 or complement SSRIs with psychedelics by proving out that they are actually a, a much better uh, antidepressant than, than SSRIs on their own. Yeah, that's pivotal considering uh, what a large drug segment uh, those antidepressants come into play with. Um, on that note, Ben, I appreciate these insights today. I feel like we got a lot out of this. Thanks so much for your time. You're very welcome. And on that note, folks, I pass the question off to you. Let us know what you think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing for the news as it comes down the wire here. But stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.